Hey there guys, what's going on? Welcome back to RimWorld. Uh, episode 2 of Season 4, I believe. Uh, holy smokes, that sounds kind of quiet. I don't know, here, I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. Um, there, hopefully that's not too much. Maybe, it, maybe it's just my headphones, though. Oh well. Uh, Zebopolis is what I called this place. It was pretty great. In the last episode, we, uh... We, we kind of... I, I named it New Belongings, and I don't know why, but I did. We have batteries. We have a food thingy with potatoes in it. Not much, and the, our food is going to run out, I think. There's not a whole lot to do. So, uh, I don't know what to do, really, other than just mine and expand. You know what we do? First of all, the local squirrel has gone mad. That's right, local squirrel is gonna be dead. Yep, good job, guys. And what, what I think we're gonna do... Harvest those plants. We need food. Food. Water. Atmosphere. <laughs> Alright, well. Somebody is gonna go and take care of the, the plants, right? Good. So that we can have food. I mean, it's still not much, but it's gonna feed us for a while. It's gonna have to feed us for a while. Otherwise, you know, things are just gonna go wrong. Also, I notice. Alright, I really need to fix this, but I don't know what to do about it, but my video taking too long to encode is making my videos look a little bit choppy. Idle colonists? Why do I have idle colonists? Here, you want to do something? How about you build us some... Um... um <laughs> build a drop beacon. Build that about here-ish. No, let's build it near our stockpile. Let's build that there. Um, and then we'll build a launch pad somewhere around here. All right, looking good. Security, auto turret. Sure, it would probably be a good idea. Ooh, what is this? A traveler named... Wait, what? <laughs> a traveler named Roughchild is passing by. She's a reporter. I had a rough childhood. <laughs> Parents, they hated me. They didn't want anything to do with me. They treated me like some sort of a monster. Well... I've got news for them. I'm no monster. I'm not happy with the things I've had to do in my life. Not happy with the people I had to kill. I'm not happy. They were just kids. Just trying to get by in life. Well, they're dead now. And there's anything I can do about it. Doesn't mean I regret it any less, though. I don't see what this has to do with me having a rough childhood. But hey. Maybe it's my short-term memory loss as a kid. Bam, mark that as prisoner bed. 
And now we can arrest. Excuse me, ma'am. 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 Yeah, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. But you're under arrest for trespassing. We don't like trespassers here. Okay. You can stop that now. You, as a prisoner tab. Try to recruit. Friendly chat. And... As of right now, she's going to live in a cramped space, but hey, she can have a plant pot. <laughs> she can plant pot. Low food. You only have zero food in storage. Uh, we're going to be hungry tomorrow. Harvest plants. Can we harvest these? Oh, holy smokes. Harvest the... Ooh, what is this? Solar flare has begun. Our electronics are down. What are we gonna do now? Okay, here we go. Rim, somebody's name is Rim. Raymond's suggestion, you give the colony a name anyway. What should it be called? Zebopolis. Zebopolis. My god. Oh, jeez, it is stormy. Windy weather with stormy weather, but when the wind blows, we're all together. <laughs> Oh. Miller? I'm sure uh, somebody get, has to get that reference. Somebody does. There's no way that nobody gets that reference. Raiders have landed nearby. They'll prepare for an attack. Or they'll prepare for a while, then attack. How many? Just the one? Tally. Or, no, tail. Artist. Interesting, I'll read about this. Childhood is a shunned girl. Freya was born into a small, poor family. She was bullied relentlessly, beaten and hated. As she grew up, she developed an interest in guns. She usually studied from books, but occasionally managed to get some practice time with the real thing. Freya later discovered a talent for art and began to teach herself how to draw and paint. Shooting plus two, social minus two. And art student. After years of practice, Freya was able to enroll... Enroll is spelled wrong. Was able to enroll into an art university and take her skills further. She sought art industry work after graduating with good grades. She made some progress with private commissions, managing to make a decent living from her art. All right. She's proud and has Illuminati connections. Interesting. So is she part of like the Pirate King tier? If like if you got the Pirate King tier, then you get to make like a a leader of raiders. Does she count as one of those? I think she would. Mm. Low food, need defenses. Let's see. Auto turret. Is it even worth building one? Really? Well, here, what's next? I want to make a comms console. Let's put that like here. Who's the one with the Lee Enfield? Mm, 
Well... <laughs> Is this our new stockpile? Because we moved all the stockpile goodies. Ah, the solar flare's done. Good luck getting through here without catching on fire. How much health are you at? 65. I could take you on. Oh, I'll let people sleep first. Okay, so let's see. You guys gotta go take cover. <laughs> go through the fly <laughs> through the fire and flames. I don't trust that position, but it'll have to do. Here, let's go at a normal speed. Oh man. Inca incapacitated or dead? Incapacitated. Alright, awesome. Unforbid, and... Then we are gonna want, so that we can take her in as well. You capture her. And you... We don't have anywhere to put the pistol. Huh. Furniture, equipment rack. I guess that's gonna go here. Oh, darn it. Alright, we'll then cancel those. And put them like this. Yeah. Well, that went well, if I do say so myself. We've got some metal. Why don't we start mining more? Like, mine out that much space. Alright. How's our food looking? So close. So close yet so far. Yay, we're actually getting some food. Don't eat it all right away. What was that? Oh. Just another failure. Your loyalty threshold is fine. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here, squirrel. That's our food you're eating. Well, at least it's being used for something. You failed. Yep, back to mining. Let's add this area to our home zone. Home region, sorry. <laughs> Alright. Gawain, you have such a way with words. A tail just heals on the floor. At least we're getting good hard work done. Lace Strats is passing by. A fighter controller. Officer Cadet. From a young age, Bashkire trained to be a leader of men. 
He enrolled in the Vanu Defense College when he was a boy and became proficient with a or er, proficient with a range of weapons and survival techniques. During the Zarthi Crisis, Bashkir fought across many worlds, providing the vital link between the ground and the air as the as a fighter controller. During the campaign, he saw friends injured and killed. This mental trauma haunts his dreams to this day, but his aim remains sharp. Alright, so he's got good shooting, good hand-to-hand, -hand, and he wants to kill us. What a jerk. <laughs> He didn't ask for this. He didn't ask for any of this. Wait, wait, wait. No, he's a... Right, he's passing by. He's not a raider. He doesn't want to kill us. <laughs> oh, right. He's not a raider. He doesn't want to kill us. Click. Uh, you can stay. You. Arrest him. Hey, you! Yeah, you! You're under arrest for being in the military! We're out of metal, too. Why don't I just order you guys to mine out the rest of that? And then maybe unforbid that stuff. Well, we don't have a whole lot going on right now. And I, I suppose that I was just kind of quiet for a while. It's a bit of an awkward silence, huh? You guys are just sitting there staring at me like, Um, excuse me, sir, what are you doing? Raiders landed nearby. Just squint. Squint grew up in cave... Wait, what? Squint grew up in cave complex deep beneath surface of inhospitable world. He worked with children tending tribes fungus. Piracy appears everywhere that governments are weak and society spread thin. Squint was part of this age-old part of human existence, extorting and smashing peaceful trade ships for profit. Tough and smells bad. Sounds like a raider to me. Suskind, 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 Suskind Squint Mayor. Meyer? Probably, it's probably pronounced Meyer. Get him, Boomrat. Oh, it's a girly Boomrat. I wonder if you'll be able to tame animals. If that's planned for future updates. We've got enough prisoners already. <laughs> I could do with a little bit less villainous scum. How long until our plants are done? Jeez. My people are probably hungry and starving. Just harvest whatever you can then. I suspect that he's going to be done with his preparation soon. Ooh, oh, of course, another prisoner. Oh, and they're right next to us. <laughs> Alcoholic. This'll be great. <laughs> Joe's was abandoned on a toxic world overgrown with hostile plant laugh. Laugh? <laughs> Joss was abandoned in a toxic world overgrown with hostile plant laugh. He became accustomed to early... He became accustomed to early... Damn it. He became accustomed early to the cold burn of loneliness. He learned to fight, but ate his food raw and uncooked. 
Joseph was a space trucker working for Arknight Industries when he killed his wife and daughter in a crash. His body was repaired with an experimental nanogenetic therapy. Noah's muscles continually regenerate and harden with every and with every movement tears the tissue anew. He bears the pain in silence. That's terrible. Oh my god, out of all of the stories that I've heard people put in, that's one of the saddest. He killed his wife and child. I'm sure that it was probably... They probably repaired him just out of anger. I don't know, I feel like they wouldn't like him. Well, what kind of skills does he have? He can punch and shoot. <sighs> Another one bites the dust. Alright, and I'm pretty sure that, uh... Here we go. Yep, they're finished. Alright, um, where is he? Squint is right there. Maybe we can take cover? Schwartz, do you think that you can make it down to, say, here? And then Rim makes it there, okay, and then Gawain makes it, say, there. Okay, um, this isn't good. Schwartz is flanked. Ugh, Gawain, stop getting hit. Alright, one more hit should probably get him. Well, from the Lee Enfield, I mean. Gawain, how are you looking? You're looking good. Rim, you aren't doing anything. Get down there. Ah, he's dead. Well, we'll unforbid the pistol. <sighs> you know what? If there are launch pads, there should be, like, a disposal launch pad <laughs> and eventually you can maybe research it maybe it should be something that you research and you can just throw waste like slag debris and such there it'll basically replace um, a dumping stockpile you just have like a garbage stockpile that you just launch into space do you guys think that's a good idea? I know that my biggest complaint in this game is all of the debris. Stop failing! Oh my goodness, I feel like I need to sneeze. I've been sneezing all day today. It's really annoying. So anyways, so let's, uh, let's start building some more. Power conduit, and standing lamp, and standing lamp, close enough to the center. You know what, actually cancel these. I'm just going to turn this into rooms. There it is. Which means that I need to mine more so that I have more space. That should be good. Actually, cancel that one. Because we need somewhere to have support for the rest of the room. I just kind of hope that this, uh, that this all works out. There are no raiders right now, right? <laughs> That's something that I feel like I should know. But I want to turn this into bedrooms. And we have a lot of prisoners right now. And not enough people to be warden to them. 
Also, I think that some of them are starving. Yeah, I think everybody needs food. But the prisoners need it most of all. Just somebody. Gawain, are you that badly injured? Just... Research is a long-term task. What do you mean? Okay, well... Gawain, for a little while, you're just gonna be on... Research duty. That is when you finally get up. There. <laughs> okay, research screen. Get more. Pneumatic picks. Nutrient resynthesis, because we're always out of food. Okay, well now what we can do... is build some hydroponics tables indoors let's just have the two. Oh, come on yeah Gawain you are definitely on research duty we don't have enough research and now we aren't surviving we have starving people we have people eating raw food because they're so hungry. We need some form of communication, some form of a large amount of food. <laughs> That's why we need hydroponics. The problem is, with the solar flare starting now of all times, we won't be able to do anything. Alright, you know what? Screw the metal. I actually don't screw the metal. We kind of need the metal. But you know what we need more than metal? That That's right. We need more plants. Oh my goodness, our food is done. What is this? Trade ship. Oh, a farming vessel. Oh, the power's out. Come on, solar flare. <laughs> These only last about a day, right? I hope they only last a day. Okay, let's see what else we can do. Carpet making. Pneumatic picks. Let's do carpet making. We can do pneumatic picks in a second. Because carpet, carpet making is going to be really important for getting these guys recruited. Mental break. Schwartz. Uh, you'll be fine. Come on. Solar flare. Quit it! Go away! Hurry up and research. <laughs> Why is... It? Oh yeah, because we needed support. Just keep on trying. If you can get rough child... Oh, power's back. Open the communications! Oh my goodness, food. Okay. So that's all that the trader has. How can we get that much money? We can't. They don't deal in slaves or weapons. So we need to reduce this. We're just going to spend all of our money here, actually. Oh, man. Thank you. Don't eat it. Pneumatic picks. Okay, food. Actual food. And is this stuff, yep, it's all growing. Is it all growing? Yes. So that light is enough. 
awesome. So now we have plants that grow at a rate where we can have a sustainable amount of food. This is turning up. Things are going well now. I think that we can delete this zone now. Or cancel, deconstruct. So, now this area is gonna be just a square and it's gonna be blank, but hey. We still have potato plants here. But I think that we should be able to survive on just the, uh... Just the potato plants. There's really nothing else that's good. Research Fear Tech. Not that Fear Tech is good. Fear Tech isn't good at all. Get to Gibbet Cages. But you don't really need Gibbet Cages. Oh boy. So many pres prisoners though. What are you thinking on your needs? Um... Not much. Thoughts? cramped environment it doesn't say anything about the bed that you're using so what do you urgently hungry do you just not care about the the bed it's good to have food <laughs> Schwartz you're doing the oh an industrial trader Yep. Schwartz, you're doing the dangerous job. Blasting charges is more useful than gun turret cooling. I can just picture some of you out there like, what? No gun turret cooling makes your turrets more effective. Turrets are really good. Turrets are terrible. They cost a lot of metal. They explode easily and they don't even kill things very well. Enemies can end up with a bigger range than it. So I save it for last. Whoa, 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 what? Oh, no. Uh, what? What happened? A fault in a wall's power conduit has caused a short circuit. All four, no, five thousand, all five thousand watts, what is that? WD, is, I don't know what WD is. I'm not smart enough. All five thousand units of energy in the connected batteries has been discharged in an electrical explosion. You guys aren't gonna try to run, are you? Fire! Fire! Oh no, go save them! Go punch them! Okay, well... They aren't gonna try to run because it transformed these beds into prisoner beds. Which honestly, I think that... In RimWorld, what should happen, prisoners should try to escape. And I know that that's probably something to be planned for the future. But in a case like that, where your wall explodes and leaves a big gaping hole, wouldn't that be a great chance for a prisoner to try to run away? But I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh, Ty already has the plans for that. Well, I have no idea what caused the fault, but, uh, there was a fault. Gawain. Researching is useless now, so you're back on everything duty. Have fun. <laughs> and why don't we just deconstruct this? 
and get some metal out of it. We mine out our brand new bedrooms. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna end the episode here. What do you mean? Oh, it blew up my thing, too. Alright, well, I'm gonna end the episode here, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.